to Choose Love, Choose Aloha SEL program and movement. I'm your Aloha Ambassador, Auntie Dawn O'Brien. And Aloha, I'm Tony Silva of The Bratas, local comedy and co-host of Choose Aloha video lessons for Keiki K-12. through Today we have a very special training, especially dedicated to our superheroes and super sheroes, our educators. Hey, hey! Much love, respect, and gratitude to you for the superhero, superstar role you have in educating our Kiki. We truly appreciate you and all you do on a daily basis. You are truly awesome. It's true. Thank you. Especially after 2020 and the COVID crisis craziness, every person and parent learned real quick just yeah. how vital you are, our educators, in our lives. I mean, really, it got we serious. We missed you. We begged you to come back, mm -hmm. right? We can't live without you. Thank you, Tony. Yes, it got extreme, which is why we have extreme appreciation for you now. And forevermore. Okay, this is a serious video. I'm a very serious singer. Okay. As I was saying, these videos are especially dedicated to you, our superhero and super shiro educators. These are school staff and teacher training video lessons. Video one, this video is entitled, What is Choose Love, Choose Aloha? Mm. An introduction to our SEL movement and miracle. Now video two, that will follow is a simple next step, how to do choose love easy application and free resources. Emphasis on easy and free, just like this video. Easy and free, <laughs> easy and free. We like that. Yes, we do. Free fits for all. We like to say, and we really mean it, we're your best friends in the bleachers, your cheerleaders in the trenches, and we bring free curriculum, free training, and even free stickers, but more on that later. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Let's begin with an overview of what we're covering in today's training. First results, right? Results speak for themselves. Oh, yeah. And wow, we've got really great results to share. Our SEL program is off the charts, people. Cha-ching, 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 results. Second, the need. Do we need SEL? Hmm. Third, the basics of Choose Love. What you need to know to teach it. And if you're already familiar with Choose Love, this is going to be a great refresher. Absolutely. And if this is your first year with Choose Love and Aloha, this will be an easy, easy introduction. Welcome to the Ohana. E Welcome ai. back to school. It's going to be an epic year for sure. Before we begin, let's start with a special treat for all of us. Free and easy, remember? Mm -hmm. Just like our program, free, easy, and effective. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. That's the jackpot we all love. Free, yes. 90, free, minus the 90. Just yeah, free. absolutely. <laughs> our special treat is a mindful moment. Oh, I like this. It's an important part of our SEL teaching. One you use with your students, for sure. Mm -hmm. So let's sample it now with you and try it out together. This mindful moment helps us to center ourselves and focus. Mindfulness is a key to greatness. Now first, teachers, educators, we want you to find a comfortable position. And it's up to you if you want to sit or stand. And once you do, next place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. You may choose to close your eyes to focus or you may choose to look down. And next, we're going to take four deep breaths together. And uh, they're also called belly belly breaths and because they go deep down into the the belly area they sure okay. do you should be going all the way down to the opu don't worry no one's looking at you nope. or your opu and not just start at the shoulders yeah choose love choose aloha likes to call these gratitude breaths that's right we always start with gratitude mm -hmm. and we like to think thankful thoughts while we breathe calming our bodies and turning on our minds so we're ready to learn so family we're going to take a gratitude breath now remember Remember, you're going to start breathing in slowly on a four count. You're going to hold it for four counts and then breathe out for four counts. Let's begin. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Exhale. That's good. Inhale one more time. Hold. And exhale. 
Excellent. Keep As we going. do this third of fourth breaths, follow along with Tony. Let's add an affirmation. That's a strong I am statement that makes you strong mentally and physically. Breathe and focus on this affirmation. I am grateful. I am grateful to learn essential life skills. Thank you. Wow. Very good. Was that four breaths already? That was four it was kind of hard when we started, but Three, it got easy. Four, it was right in there. It was right in there. But I tell you what, um, it's pretty good, yeah? It really feels good. Now, yeah. how do you feel after doing those gratitude breaths and a gratitude affirmation? I, it, it, Puts my mind at ease. I'm focused. Um, I'm ready to either teach or learn. Which we're going to do both today. Exceptional. And, and it's a cool exercise to bring the kids all together in the same mindset, especially maybe after lunch, recess, and they, they're all scatterbrained. First this thing in the morning. This is a great, great, uh, uh, as we call it, gratitude breath and affirmation exercise. You know, I have to, to say centered. yes to all of that. And I feel really peaceful. I, how do you feel? I feel peaceful. I feel blessed. And I feel like I just woke up from a really good sleep, yeah. ready to go with our day. Right. So thank right. you, Uncle Tony. No, thank you. And thank you for participating in that. Sorry, I just called you Uncle Tony because that's what we do on the kid videos. Yeah, we we'll do We'll talk it. about that. We'll no, talk about that. Is. Yes. Thank you for taking that time together with us for yourself. It's important because you're important. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot going on in our world today. It can be overwhelming for any of us. Yeah. So take the time to stop, pause, get centered and strong for yourself. That's you choosing you and you choosing to win. The best part, it's, it's free. free. Now we're ready and raring to go. Let's start. First and foremost, the most important question for you is what's in this for me or what's in it for me? Yeah. I mean, we're all educators. We're all very busy. We all have way too many new programs slamming on our desks every new year. Yeah. Way too many required programs that fade away after a few years, like a fad gone bad. Fad gone bad? Yeah. You mean like MC Hammer Pants? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> My vanilla ice faded haircut oh, gone is that bad. Yeah. My neon bright dove shorts I used to run with in the 1970s running down at the Ala Moana Beach Park like that. Gone bad. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Quickly yeah. moving forward and on. So why is Choose Love any different than these fads gone terribly bad? Right. Well, the results speak for themselves, so let's allow the numbers to do the talking. Very good. First piece of evidence is great. Overall, picture of results you can expect with SEL. First, all social and emotional learning in the classroom or school provides better grades. Wow. Better test scores. Yes, sir. Better graduation rates. Great news, Hawaii, right? Wow. Reduced anxiety. We all need this right now. Mm -hmm. Lower depression. Another much needed item right there. Less substance abuse, yeah. statistically proven. Wow. Lower incarceration, that means less people in prison, less cost to society, taxpayers, and their families. Mm. And last but not least, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. This is scientifically and statistically proven fewer divorces. What? How can? Yeah. You see, SEL not only impacts Keiki, but also their ohana. We learn how to manage anger, be present, make powerful and positive choices, and much more. Wow, wow, wow. Those really are great results. Yeah, it is. Teachers, if you want, you can find all of these material items available to you for free on our website. That's wow. www.chooselovemovement.org or just contact me, Dawn, at jessielewischooselove.org. Next, more results Ooh. to ignite and inspire you to use this free and easy SEL program. These results are from a local Hawaii elementary school. Okay. Kalihi Elementary is located, of course, in Kalihi. Right down the street. A hard-pressed, highly challenged part of town. Many live in low-income housing or are even homeless. It also has one of the highest crime rates in the state of Hawaii. Mm. But as you can see on this slide, Kalihi Elementary saw huge results when they started using Choose Love in their school. Wow. In fact, I'll save you too many details. Let's focus on just the very top row and the very bottom row. Okay. 
on the top, you see they started in school year 16, 17, mm -hmm. continued through 17, 18, and the last year measured before 2020 hit and stopped everything was school year 18, 19. Right, right. Then you see the quarters and semesters, each one listing the number of incidents or referrals for that quarter and semester. Wow. As you know, an incident or referral is acting up in class, yeah. violence, contraband or drugs, even stealing, fighting, and a lot more other things like that. Well, that's when you have to call in the counselor or administrator. Now look at the bottom line, because the bottom line oh, is always that. the bottom line. Look at that. For the first year, school year 16-17, there's a total of 195 incidents or referrals. But then the second year, school year 17-18, there's a huge drop only 158 incidents or referrals compared mm -hmm. to 195 the year before. And that final school year, epic. 1819 showed a drop in even more points, now down to 104. Yeah. Compare that to the first Amazing. year they started 195, that's a 91 point drop in just three years. That's not just 91 points, Ohana, that's 91 people, specifically children. That's right. That's 91 times a teacher did not have to call a counselor or administrator. That's 91 times a teacher or school did not have to call the police, which is the worst case scenario, but it happens. And if you fast forward that call to the police to the future, that's 91 times we don't see a prison sentence or a parole mm -hmm. officer. That's not just 91 point difference. That's 91 wins for students, schools, and Hawaii. That's a difference. That's the difference that Choose Love makes. Thank you, Kalihi Elementary, for being Choose Love champions and championing our children just like you are. Ooh, that is great results Epic. right there. Now, other great schools that have seen success with Choose Love, Choose Aloha include Nanakuli High and Intermediate, Chee as well as Waianae High School ALC, Alternative Learning Center. And it works in Waianae and Nanakuli. It can work anywhere. Garance. So, so proud of you, Waianae and Nanakuli, right on. In fact, in January 2020, just as COVID was hitting, YNI's ALC, they're called the Papahana Okayona, they're my Ohana. Mm -hmm. The students in Ohana all went to Hawaii's state capital to testify before the most powerful committee in the legislature, that's the Ways and Means Committee. And they testified about the great difference that Choose Aloha SEL program makes in their lives. Eo, YNI, na na kuli. Now that we've seen results in Hawaii schools, as well as internationally measured success, you can see it's a highly effective, high impact program. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's so effective that Choose Love is now in 112 countries, all 50 states in the United States of America and in Hawaii, it's being used in 181 schools. In fact, Hawaii is the number one most downloading state. Woo. Unreal. We brag that we're the number one Choose Aloha state, because we are. Aren't we the only Choose Aloha state in the union? Number one and only. <laughs> Let's move right along to our second highlight. Yeah, move right along. From Nothing to see here. to why. Why do we need Choose Love SEL? Go ahead, Don. Take it away. All right. Number two. Why do we need SEL and specifically Choose Love, Choose Aloha? Before I answer that question, I'll ask you a question first. Please finish this statement. Survival of the... Fittest? Wrong! Burp, 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 burp. Nope. Charles Darwin first coined what is now one of the most misquoted sayings ever. Like? He actually never said survival of the fittest, which we all learn, right? Yeah. But that's wrong. What he wrong. really said was survival of the most compassionate. Wow. Why? Because people across time and history who survived and succeeded are those who are altruistic, meaning they helped each other, mm -hmm. they're generous and compassionate. Think about it. The whole reason why you and I and you are here today is because someone compassionate and loving made sure that you stayed alive. Your mom, a parent, a sibling or loving person right. who helped you to live long enough to be here right mm -hmm. now. Think about it again. Since caveman times, people have had to band together to survive against the elements, against wild animals, even other people. Same during any time of history and even today. So it's always the people who are most compassionate 
and banded together that survive and succeed. Survival of the most compassionate. You know what? This actually makes a lot of sense. Though. Right? Yeah. We survive and thrive through healthy relationships, meaningful connections, mm -hmm. and dare I say, love and aloha. Without these, we, we suffer. So the answer to why do we need social emotional learning and specifically choose love for survival and success. We need SEL to learn how to love and be loved. These are natural needs, but not natural skills. We must learn them, otherwise we suffer what is called diseases of despair. We're going to get right back to that idea of diseases of despair, but for example, we all saw how in 2020, the whole world came to a screeching stop. Entire nations closed, businesses were shuttered, yes. financial markets suffered, and people were locked down in our own homes. Remember that? Yes, I do. All of us were suddenly forced into the worst possible situation social distancing. For the past 18 months and counting now, we all got used to the worst sentence ever known to humankind, social distancing, right? You see, we're created for community, mm -hmm. for ohana, for friends and family, for socializing, closeness and intimacy. Think back on Darwin. We're wired for being with one another for safety. Now, after extended isolation and solitary confinement, which by the way, is the worst punishment and prison sentence for any human. Think about it, isolation and solitary. Now we have a big backlash happening yes. and we're seeing the diseases of despair, alcoholism, drug and substance abuse, domestic violence, sex trafficking, even Oof. addictions to video games, pornography, social media and entertainment. Why? To numb the pain of social distancing. That's why we all need social emotional learning now more than ever. Educators, much is being demanded of you. Oh, Garens. Yeah. Not just academics, you're not just teaching a class, we know this, you're also shaping your students socially and emotionally. Yeah, it's a lot, it and is. we value you for going over and beyond what you do. But think of it this way, it's also an opportunity to strengthen your own social emotional skills, and that means you win. That means your students win, in fact, we all win. It's a win, win, win for all of us. Winning! Quickly, let's recap some of the issues we're all facing. You'll see that this further highlights the great need for SEL solutions. 49.5% yeah. or almost half of college-bound U.S. youth have a diagnosable mental illness by 18 years old, anxiety. That's half. Loneliness is at epidemic levels with Gen Z reporting they're lonelier than senior citizens. Wow. More suicides in the U.S. than murders, despite mandated suicide prevention programs. Mm. Then there's substance abuse. It's skyrocketing despite drug awareness programs or, as we've all heard, the war on drugs. Right. Violence is increasing in schools in type and intensity. Then there's equity and inclusion, a continuing issue. The breakdown of our families. Here are a few more issues we face. Reported bullying has increased 21%. Mm -hmm. Since tracking started in tw uh, 2003, that's only what's being reported now, family. Much of it is not being reported because of fear of retaliation. So true. 77% of students are bullied mentally, physically, and or verbally. 160,000 kids stay home from school each day for fear of being bullied. One in 10 students drop out because of bullying. Just think about that number, 160,000 children stay home every day from school yeah. because of bullying. Sad. Finally, the overarching issue and greatest threat is trauma. The top sources like CDC, Centers for Disease Control, called trauma a pandemic long before COVID-19 ever made the scene. In fact, trauma in schools increased from one in five students 25 years ago, that was a while, yes. to over 50%. That's one in two children or half of your classes. That's so unbelievable, right? And after the pandemic 2020, some say the number is now as high as 90%, Don. Ooh. Allow me to repeat the staggering statistic and let it sink in. 90% of our children are traumatized? 90% yes. of the children in our classroom are dealing with stress, anxiety, and trauma? 
To make matters worse, most of the issues we mentioned earlier of stress, anxiety, loneliness, suicide, self-harm, substance abuse, domestic violence, violence, etc., these have all increased exponentially in the pandemic 2020. So, is there a need for SEL or Choose Love in your school? You already know the answer. The answer is undeniable. Yes, we need social and emotional intelligence more than ever before. Absolutely. Which leads us straight to the next natural question. What is the answer? And what can we possibly do about it? Now this is where we have great news, backed by science and the best part? It's free. It's free? Life-changing? Life-changing? Chocolate-covered walnuts, cashew nuts? <laughs> okay, it absolutely is free, oh. and it is life-changing. You can take care of that chocolate covered okay. on your own okay. time. Okay, got it. Let's t start with a key question. How many of you know what PTSD is? Absolutely. Right. Most yeah. of us know post-traumatic stress disorder, although now we leave the D off because it was never a disorder. It was just stress. Mm -hmm. PTS. So how many of you know what PTG is? Hmm. No, not as many, yep. Post-traumatic growth. Science shows that trauma has the potential to transform us in positive ways. Uh. You come out stronger, more resilient. Post-traumatic growth means you come out of trauma having learned a lesson and move forward stronger for it. So it's better, not bitter. Bless, less stress. Turn a boo-hoo into a chee-hoo. In fact, yeah. PTG is key to social emotional intelligence, surviving and succeeding. It's like we always say at Choose Love. And if you only take away one thing, this will be the grand takeaway of the day. We can't always choose what happens to us, but we can always choose our response. And we can always choose love and aloha. And to help us to choose love, to choose our best self, we need PTG. It gives us hope in the midst of the worst time. We have a better self coming through it. That's right. Like in the pandemic 2020, it was hard, Don, right? Yeah. Stressful, full of anxiety, the fear of death from COVID-19. It was even depressing for a lot of people. Yep. As an entertainer, we had no gigs as Hawaii and the world shut down. All travels, all hotels, restaurants, and, and even uh, our events here, it all stopped on a dime. Yeah. And most entertainers, we live from gig to gig. And when there was no unemployment benefits at first, it got real rough real tough, real fast. Yeah. And for somehow, some way, our Hawaii entertainers, we made it through. Thanks to the love and support of friends, Island Ohana. We did gigs online, we found side hustles, we got lots of donations. And at the end of 2020, I have to say, I was so blessed in the worst stress time. And I was able to bless it forward. At the end of 2020, I realized I gave more than I had ever given before, even though I made less. Did it you? was an amazing year. Seriously, yeah. really Abs did? Absolutely. No. Wow. Now, thank you for sharing that, Tony. Mm -hmm. That's a perfect example of PTG, post-traumatic growth. I'm sure our teachers and educators watching had similar experiences. Huh? You all went through the hardest and most challenging years of education after COVID. Yet, you survived and thrived. You came out stronger, more resilient. Big time. And better able to survive and thrive in these tough times. Tough times don't last, but tough people do, and loving people do even better. We can all choose love and aloha. Again, thank you teachers for continuing to choose love, aloha, and of course making this year all possible. Yes. It makes all the difference in a world that truly needs the difference. That's you. It really does. Let's expand what we're learning about PTG, post-traumatic growth. It has five great benefits important for us to know and be mindful of as we help each other through these tough times. Here are the five benefits and you'll see them on the screen. Number one, PTG helps you discover personal strengths. Mm. Kind of like you, Tony, it's, when you went good. through that pandemic 2020, right? You it's realize good. that if you you can live through one of the worst years for our world, you can face anything. Congratulations. Truly did. truly did. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number two, PTG leads to enhanced relationships. So true. It strengthens our connection to people who help us and to others who suffer too. 
we have greater compassion. And remember, it's survival of the most compassionate. Remember, we spoke of this. That's yeah? right. You're more likely to survive and succeed. Number three, PTG helps us to discover new possibilities. Out of the rubble of struggle, we see the light of new possibilities where there were none before. Good. For example, for us educators, we learned the new possibility of online learning and even hybrid learning. Most of us never even knew what Google Classrooms were or Zoom or WebEx before 2020. Are you yep. kidding me? But that tech curve went even steeper than the COVID curve was how we had to learn tech and we learned fast even though some of us are still stuck on mute you're on mute, you're on mute. we can't hear you you're you on mute you're, yeah. you're muted you need to turn it <laughs> up yeah okay good so yes ptg helps us to discover amazing new possibilities number four is a great one ptg births spiritual changes oh, we yeah. experience a deepening of our spiritual lives when we go through tough and challenging times and that's a beautiful benefit Finally, number five seems cliche, but really it is an essential life skill that makes life great no matter what. Mm -hmm. Number five, PTG develops a new appreciation for life. It adds a gratitude boost to life and a greater sense of appreciation yeah. or an attitude of gratitude Absolutely. for what we have, what we may have taken for granted. Now that's winning. These are the great benefits of PTG, but you may be asking, how can I make sure that I'm getting the post-traumatic growth and not post-traumatic stress? Right. Well, one clear answer is choose love SEL learning. You knew we were going to plug that you right there, that. right? You that knew we were going to shame us. why we're here. Yeah. yeah. But by teaching choose love, we're actually role modeling for the children, but we're also living it for ourselves. That's a win, win, winning. Another clear answer to make sure we're on the right track for PT growth, not just PT stress. Mm. It, it is to know the factors that lead to PTG. There are actually six of them, and each of these is not outside of our reach. In fact, by practicing social emotional learning, we're strengthening each of these six factors. So true. Number one, awareness of possibility of growth. Right. We know this as the growth mindset to keep mm -hmm. your mind on growing not stuck on stupid or no. frustrated without purpose or fruitless and futless, just to be real local Tito style. Uh, this, when we choose the growth mindset that we're growing and learning something, that's empowering. Growth mindset. Empowering. Very good. I love that. Number two, perception of control. We have a superpower called choice. Mm. We can control our thoughts and actions. Remember, we can't always choose what happens to us, but we can always choose our response and we can always choose love. We can focus on what we can control. We can become a victor rather than a victim. Nice. Uh, this is how we take our personal power back. Even amidst COVID-19 in this new normal, mm -hmm. not normal, not normal at all. No. Normally abnormal, abby normal. Wow, well, you catch my drift. <laughs> to recap what, what, this what? section, as you may want to take a stretch break or a quick bathroom break and pause this video in just a few minutes. So let's recap first and then take a break. We've covered the impressive results of Choose Love, Choose Aloha in local schools and around the world. That's right. Second, we also covered the need and we direly need social emotional intelligence more than ever for us and our keiki. We're wrapping up now on PTG, post-traumatic growth. Five benefits and then six factors that help make sure we have post-traumatic growth and not just stress. To bring it all into a close, the question after learning about PTG is what can we do for our children? Mm. Here are simple, doable to do items for you in your classroom to get that PTG. Number one, create physical and psychological safety. Safe, seen, and celebrated are three things that Keiki needs. Say that with me, safe, seen, and celebrated. Safe, seen, and celebrated. I heard you. These are the three things they most need. So let's start by creating a safe space at our classroom or school so that it becomes a sanctuary from the storm. That's good. Listen carefully now, family. Second, practice social and emotional skills as a priority and a lifestyle. Kind of like dieting doesn't work unless it's a lifestyle change, it's sustainable. Make the commitment and just do it. Number three, teach and create awareness about PTG. Just like we just did here with yeah. you right now, wasn't it a game changer, a life changer? 
Now we entrust and encourage you to go and bless it forward to your keiki. And you know the cool thing is that you don't have to just do this all in one day. You can take it one step at a time. That's the beauty of this video. So good. Number four, one trusted adult. Did you know that scientific research shows the presence of just one trusted adult can change a child's life greatly? Good. It's true, especially if the child has an abusive home or family. The presence of one M-A-M-A, -M -A, mama, meaningful adult, meaningful activity, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, somebody in their lives, just one trusted adult can impact the child for greatness. So let's cultivate that. Let's uh, bring our relationships together by using safe adults for our keiki. Yes, we definitely want to be safe adults for Keiki. And I know you can think of one M-A-M-A. -M -A. I can think of Easy. a volleyball coach who Easy. pretty much saved my life one night when I could have gone south real fast, or even my grandma Keti when my parents disappeared. So be that safe adult for one of your Keiki. Number five, navigate your children back to the baseline by regulating the nervous system. We'll explain more later when we talk about the brain, helping our Keiki to understand deep breathing, remember those belly breaths? Mm -hmm. we did as well as centering and mindfulness well that one's going to be mind-blowing information it especially really when we is. start talking about the brain and it's number free. six number six listen uh, for number six listen uh, you need to be present make eye contact that's right yes that's a lot for so many children in our school but again it can save a child's life and change their future some elementary teachers ask their class to stand in line outside as they enter into the morning and start their school they greet them by, by their name. For example, good morning, Jimmy. And they look them right in the eye and mm -hmm. welcome them personally. Jimmy, I'm so glad you're here today. I'll see you inside. Short, sweet, and it's so life-changing. And sometimes that's the only personal interaction that child that's will it. get in a daytime. That's it. Imagine from right. an adult. Number seven, support predictability and schedules. That's because we want to decrease chaos. In 2020, there was so much mm. change, confusion, and chaos. We at Choose Love and Aloha encourage our educators to bring back, instead of change, confusion, chaos, we're bringing calm, calendared schedules or routines and compassion to help our kids come back to the baseline. So good. Finally, number eight, what can we do for our children? Foster PTG through difficulties or challenges. Oh, interesting. Now, simply said, don't make everything too easy, but be there to encourage the child through it. Allow challenges so that your keiki can adapt, grow, and become overcomers. I really like that one. Means we're not raising kids who just expect everything. We're raising overcomers. Congratulations, we've done some heavy lifting Ooh. and we are coming through better, greater, and more hopeful. OMG with the PTG, boom, co-winning. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> we'll cover the basics of Choose Love and Choose Aloha SEL program. Remember, it's easy and it's free. Highly effective too, and it's already changing our lives, yours and ours, right here, right now. So take a short five to 10 minute break, pause this video, and we'll be back with more great essential life skills to change your life, your class, and your world, I promise.